Good morning, YTPC. Another piece of paper you carry. Yeah? <clears throat> Smoking the Lee Van Cleef Meerschaum pipe. And in it, I'm smoking some special Latakia Flake. There's a couple of tobaccos I want to talk about today that I kindly got sent to us by Bulldog Piper and Beads, Pipes and Life. Um, there was the special Latakia Flake, there was the 1820 Flake and also the 1820 Ready Rubbed. Um, when I first opened this special Latakia Flake I thought there might have been a bit of a mistake from the tobacconists because um, when I smell, I jarred it up straight away, but when I smell the jar there's a lot more sort of the Virginia grassy notes like actually comes through so I thought oh I wonder if they've maybe sent us a just a plain Virginia flake by mistake but I do get the mild Latakia coming through um, on the retro hill and the smoke. Funny thing is, I've had that jar up for a few weeks now. When I opened the jar to fill the pipe, I did get a faint smell of the Latakia. But now that the lid's been off, it's sort of it's gone quite quick. Um, but it's a funny one because it's 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 not too heavy on the Latakia and it's not too heavy on the Virginia. Again, it's a bit like a Goldilocks situation. It seems that they've actually getting the balance just right. Yep, definitely getting the latter key there. Um, the 1820s, like the shag cut, ready rubbed, and the flake. Me personally, I can't really tell a lot of difference. It might be one of those where I might need to give it a few days between sort of trying them and seeing if, if, if I can notice a difference. Um, really nice, they've got a lovely Latakia mix to them. Um, again, these with such as the Squadron Leader, the London Mixture, the Aperitif, I would to coin a phrase, I would say they're all pretty much pissing in the same pot. Um, they all seem to have that nice level of Latakia. Which is a strange thing, I do enjoy smoking them. But I never thought I would because I sort of cut my teeth on really strong Latakia. I was like straight up there with sort of 75% pure Latakia La 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 or Latakia. Like your pirate cake strengths. Um, so for me, I didn't think that I would have enjoyed the milder versions of that tobacco. Yet these, I really do. I think for a first smoke, you can't go wrong. And um, I tend to now to keep sort of like the heavier blends for like an after dinner smoke rather than enjoying it as a first smoke of the day. Yeah, like I say, it's a bit deceiving this one because you think you're just getting a plain Virginia but it's not until you're actually smoking that you get that coming through. So yeah, uh, I've got to say guys, great call on getting me introduced into these tobaccos because um, yes, I'm really enjoying them and they are ones that I would definitely get. If I sort of went in and there was something else particularly after... Say, for instance, I went in for Squadron Leader and I couldn't get it, or a Peritif, etc. I know that I've got these ones that are sort of there as a second option. So I know that I'm not going to run out of that sort of mild Latakia tobacco. Again, if you're looking to get into Latakias, um, I mean, I know there are some of you out there that haven't tried them before, but are looking into it. These, you probably can't go wrong with these because they're not too harsh. They're not like I did going straight into a, a really strong 
like the Kia Tobacco, which for me I didn't mind because I was going from cigars, so I was already used to that sort of strong taste and strong smell and um, aroma. So yeah, really nice room note of these. Really pleasant smoke. And again, as your first smoke of the day, it sort of sets you up. I can understand why Peace Pipe Man likes to smoke his early morning pipe on his way to work. That's like his first smoke because it, it does sort of get you wired, if you like, and gets you ready. And it's just a nice, nice little kick, but not too overpowering to sort of sicken you. I think if I'd smoked the HH Bold Kentucky as his first tobacco of the day, I probably wouldn't touch another bowl because it, it would put me off for the day if I'm being honest. I think tobacco was like that for me are uh, after a nice big sort of Sunday dinner where afterwards you know you just want to get on the couch, get in front of the TV or a book and uh, not really do much else because obviously you won't want to after smoking them. But uh, yeah. Strange thing is, for all this smells heavy of Virginia, the bowl's not red hot like you tend to get from a plain Virginia. I'm sort of halfway down the bowl there now, and um, it's just a nice, a nice cool bowl. So again, that's another good sign, I suppose, if you're smoking, um, such as a Meerschaum pipe, and you don't want it too hot where you can't, you can't grip onto it. So yeah, again guys, thanks a lot for giving us the opportunity to try these. Um, I'm always up for suggestions on ones to try. Um, again, there's just so many out there and it's like it is quite confusing and wondering where to start. That is the great thing that I love about the YTPC is that as people get to know you as a presenter, you know, they're sort of sitting there and think to themselves you know I wonder if you like this and give this a try and see what you think and you know you do get privy to some really wonderful tobaccos that if I'm quite honest with you if I hadn't decided to go onto YouTube last year I probably wouldn't have taken this back up as a, a regular thing that I did and again I probably would have just smoked the same old plain two tobaccos that I did when I first picked up a pipe years ago which was the strong Latakia Balkan mix that I, and the Durham's own tobacco brand that I got from the tobacconists so which was just basically their monster mash and a 75% Latakia so yeah it's um it is a wonderful thing I do love the white APC and um you know I've met some really wonderful people through it so again if you're new to my channel you know please feel free to comment and give us a shout, let us know who you are, and if there's sort of anything that I can advise you on. I mean, I am still pretty, I still consider myself a newbie, um, but obviously if there's particular things that if you're watching my videos and you think yourself, well, is along the same lines as me, you know, give us a shout, and um, if there's anything you're interested in or want to know, you know, hopefully I can, I can point you in the right direction. So... I can't believe we're in the middle of the week already. Honestly, these weeks are flying over. We're almost halfway through sort of August already. I mean, the, the guest tobaccos that I wanted to do for this month have sort of taken a bit of a back seat because I've had all these samples to try and I want to try and get 
get them smoked and do a review on so that the people who were kind enough to send them I can let them know what my views are I've fallen behind on this one a little bit like I say I've had these a couple of weeks and um, but I wanted this special letter key to be jarred up for a little bit and um, see what I could get out of that but I have to say so far I am enjoying the ones I've had like I say a nice first bowl of the day if you like or you could maybe just have this as a light final smoke and then that way you're not going to be too wired if you sort of go to bed afterwards type thing does anybody here actually smoke a pipe in bed I know I have seen on Facebook um, a couple of people have said oh you know I'll I'll lie in bed and I'll smoke a pipe. Me personally, I wouldn't. Um, no, I don't think I could. One, I probably wouldn't get away with it to start with, but I think even if I lived on my own, that's something I don't think I could do. But um, I suppose some people do. Let us know what you think. Well, listen, pleasure as always. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. You know, the more subscribers we get, the more chance we have of sort of keeping our channels. Um, I hope you're having a great week. I hope wherever you are, that you're safe, you're well, and you're happy. As always, you're enjoying a bowl. And I will see you all again soon. Bye for now.